Muller. This is a study on erosion for AHS-230. And we'll be conducting an experiment with a lined straight and meandering channel to study the effects of erosion. All right, so for our video project, what we're doing is comparing the erosion between two different channels. We have the straight channel over here and a meandering one on this side. We're going to compare how much erodes between the straight channel and the meandering one when they're lined with the rocks. significantly. At the end here we have a sediment flume called an alluvial fan and it is relatively even. Next we're going to be starting on our second channel, the meandering channel. All right. Alright, so now that we're done running the meandering channel, you can see there is quite a bit of erosion on this side and significantly more compared to the other one in change in channel width. And then here you can see we have multiple sediment plumes or alluvial fans. We have a large one here followed by two smaller ones right there. There are many types of streams, but we're going to talk about braided and meandering streams. This video depicts a meandering stream, which presents many problems with erosion of the banks because of the high velocity of the water against the bank. On the other side of the bank, you can see a point bar. This is due to the deposition of sediment from the lower velocity of the inside of the stream. As the stream erodes, the path of the stream changes within the floodplain. This presents a possible hazard to wildlife, natural resources, and man-made structures. As you can see with this first video, there is no riprap to help protect the banks from erosion. In this second video, you can see the apparent differences between having no riprap and having riprap. The part of the meandering stream with no riprap has been severely eroded and in turn has started to change the path of the stream. When a stream shows no signs of erosion, this is called stream equilibrium. The parts of the stream with riprap on it has only slightly eroded, which prevents damage to surrounding resources. In the final video, the whole stream is lined with riprap. This provides maximum protection against erosion and prevents the tunnel at the end of the channel from eroding away. Now that you've seen some real life examples of erosion and erosion prevention as well as our lab, I'm going to tell you about some other ways to prevent erosion and the possible problems they could cause. We've already gone over riprap and how it can help prevent erosion by reducing the amount of sediment that is easily moved. This can be made from rocks, concrete, or bricks. The next way to prevent erosion that we're gonna go over is plants. Using native plants that have deep roots, you can help prevent bank erosion just by having the roots hold the sediments together. Usually these are plants that have very complex root systems and are native to the plains. Mesh or netting is used to prevent erosion by holding things in place. Usually it is anchored with rods drilled into the sediments or rock. This is used on steep banks where the others are not feasible due to the steepness of the banks. And last that we're going to go over today is brick or concrete lined. This tends to be in man-made channels where the brick or concrete completely lines the channel or partially lines it. 
This is different from rug wrap because it is actually sealed together and prevents water from moving through quite as easily, whereas with rip wrap, the water can move through the rip wrap easily. Some problems with erosion prevention and control are that erosion is never stopped, it is only slowed, or the energy erodes elsewhere. It can potentially destroy natural resources and habitats of local wildlife. It is very expensive and labor intensive. It also requires constant maintenance. Erosion prevention and control methods can also significantly reduce the sediment load, causing more erosion problems downstream. In conclusion, we studied uh, erosion and uh, its causes. We did a lab experiment on a line straight and meandering channel, and we looked at some of the solutions to erosion. Thank you for watching.